Zan, dude, I I love What's Call up, of Duty guy? news, man. Like yeah? we've just yeah. I remember like back to podcasts, like I think it was like like four or five. We were mm. kind of like scraping the surface. Yeah, it's when, a, when the first like drama story started showing up, and you're yeah. like, oh yeah, I like talking about it. Just, yeah. yeah, yeah. And now it's like taking over. Like we're doing a lot uh, of COD news. Yeah. I love it to death. Yeah. Mm. And it kind of brings a great talking point to the future of the Call of Duty franchise league, right. which we still don't. People call it CDL or CWL. I don't give a frick anymore. Let's I, call it. The, I really hope they don't use CDL. CDL does not sound nearly as good as CWL. CW, I agree yeah. with you. Yeah. Um, either way, speaking of that franchise league, the thoughts of this because now we have so many teams. I would say mm. even brand wise, team wise, or right. fan base wise, we have more teams not participating than mm. we do inside the league so far. Yeah, I don't think any of the teams that I would assi associate with Call of Duty off the top of my head none of them are right none of them are interested that's a dude i love yeah the way you put things man because <laughs> i had not really thought about it that yeah. way because it's not the old optic no yeah it's it may as well not be optic yeah it's yeah. phases on the fence not mm -hmm. even confirmed yet mm -hmm. now 100 t 100 thieves is the latest one yeah and now we have reciprocity gen mm -hmm. g lg mm -hmm. all outside and we could literally no, see yeah, our esports right? bubble subject <laughs> take off because we have competition outside the league that is more fierce than that inside mm -hmm. and so there's gonna be two or three two or things multiple things could be happening here Zan. all right yeah uh you yeah. know we could have these teams not participate mm -hmm. or maybe this is leverage power for all of a sudden activision blizzard saying hey please come come back <laughs> please we'll lower that price no yeah like hey like trying to be like Hey, yeah, we know we said twenty five million, but we meant, twenty. We, we, we meant like twenty five dollars. <laughs> yeah. There's somebody uh, added a couple well, extra what zeros. Were you guys, what are you guys willing to pay? <laughs> um, you know, because yeah. it's it's just insane to see uh, we're having this debate. I just love it because the more we talk about esports, the more digestible this content becomes, and this is a talking point for everyone in the esports scene. Right? Yeah, um, definitely. Everybody should be talking about because it affects sport. the future of other franchises. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you look at look at it and you say, okay, all of a sudden they're offering these these orgs better deals. What right. about the orgs that have already committed? Are they coming back and saying, yo, we signed a contract, no, yeah, but I hey. Imagine. They'd have to drop their price too. Give us a bit of a refund match. here. Yeah. yeah. But even at that <clears throat> point, would the Call of Duty League even be profitable? Because we know League isn't, right? Yes. Yeah, the they're, they're on their way. Yeah, they're they're on, trying, well yeah. on their way. Let's get but, that clear. But that's but very much PR talk that could mean well on their way. That could, could be, very well be a front. Hey, we were 30 million in the hole. Now we're, now we're only at 35. Yeah, oh, no, no, not, not 35. 25 yeah so. yeah so um uh -huh. you know just i think it's a great talking point yeah. so super curious what you guys think about this and um mm -hmm. it was super sucky to see a guy like nade shot just like super sad no yeah a guy homie legitimately looked depressed coming like yeah. the the entire last mm -hmm. 15 seconds of the video was like uh, i hope you guys have a great day um yeah. This, this pretty much sucks. Yeah, It was yeah. super sad to see, especially a guy who comes from Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. And I, I guarantee you guys, within the next week or so, we'll have plenty of videos on this. Right. Huge debate going forward. Will the Call of Duty franchise survive? And what the heck's going to go on? I, I don't know. Countless options. Yeah, really and truly. Actually, thinking about it. In that video, Nade Shot didn't say they were releasing their COD roster, did he? He, he did, um, he, but okay, he did not right. say permanently. So it right, looks okay. like likely for the next year at least. Uh -huh. And I, I assume he's obviously a Call of Duty personality. Right, right. So you'd have to assume if they lower the price or they change things up, they'll mm -hmm. be back. Right. But he did say for competitive Call of Duty, they'll be gone. Okay, for sure. So we're going to presume for throughout the year. But then again, COD has usually, mm. like, sometimes throughout that second year can have two CODs. You know, mm. one goes away, one comes out. Right, right. Who knows, yeah. man? You know what? I just really hope that other leagues don't look at this and then look at, like, the super player-friendly, like, really, like, the league trying to look out for its players, like the mandatory salary caps, like the housing stuff, like yeah. the, the retirement. I hope they don't look at it and say, oh, yeah, all of that is why people don't want to be involved. So we're not doing that. I just really hope I that doesn't I don't think anyone happen. would see that, see, right? you would hope not, but these people are crazy. Oh, especially, so like, you, especially if you if you th if they think about the people putting the money into the leagues to make the leagues happen, like the investors and stuff. Okay, now I understand yeah, what you're saying. Yeah. So you you're hoping that other franchise leagues don't mm. take away those mandatory housing payment benefits no, yeah, because it's too expensive for the orgs to right, put forward. Right? Yeah, because that's another. Mm. God, you're good at this, man. <laughs> yeah, I, again, because you have to think about it. And one mm. last closing point on this, I know it's a bit of an extended topic for you guys listening, but uh, you know when it comes time for 25 plus million for the spot, right? Yeah. You hear Nade Shot say. We got other bills to pay, yeah. and for Call of Duty spot alone, you pay mm. that spot price. Mm. Then you got to pay the salaries of at least seven players, a right. staff, mm. got to travel, mm. housing. Mm. 
it makes perfect sense as to I mean it just makes obvious sense why they're not doing it. Yeah, especially since it's not like Activision or Blizzard have, has released any analytics to them saying, yeah, this is worth it. Yeah, <laughs> here's how you're gonna make your money back. Literally, it's no. just like what have they done? They've said, oh, uh, the path to pro, little yeah. side series. We'll yeah, put 50k yeah. up for that. Uh -huh. And by the way, the, the players you send to that, you gotta pay them still. No, they're, yeah, they're not yeah. gonna make that money back either. So, um, huge talking points mm -hmm. coming soon, guys. Mm -hmm. The future of Call of Duty League is still undecided, and we will break it down as it does continue. We'll